In this video, I'm going to teach you the anchor-induced lucid dreaming technique. You probably haven't heard of this technique because you're familiar with things like the wild, the way back to bed. Let an alert. If you want a lucid dream reliably, safely, and in a way that you can control it more, in more detail, you need to watch this video. Okay, because the anchor-induced lucid dream technique is, I would consider, the best, or if not one of the best techniques. It's massively underrated and pretty much no one knows about it. So here's how it works. You need to find an object in your room. This is going to be something that you're going to stare at every single time you try to lucid dream. And also throughout the day you're going to try and use this as well. Now it can be a dream sign that you could use just in a dream, or it can be something that you see in your room. So I'm going to use, it's quite hard to explain, so I'm just going to use an example. The best example I can think of is to find something that's in your room that you always see. So in this case, in my room, I always see these lights because these are always there in the background. It's a series of string lights that are powered up and they always are in the background. So every time I see those, I tell myself I will lucid dream or I can lucid dream. And so what ends up happening is that when I go to sleep and I obviously see the lights before I go to sleep, I start thinking about lucid dreaming. And this anchors something that you're going to do every night, in this case, see these lights, with the concept of lucid dreaming. It's very powerful. And I'm going to explain in a minute how you can use this to have reliable lucid dreams. But just first consider the implications of this. Every single time you go to bed, you are staring at an object. And it could be the lights. It could be, you know, uh, an ornament on your bedside table. It could be a salt lamp. I don't know if you can see in the background there, I have a salt lamp. It could be anything. The point is that every time you see this object, you tell yourself, I will lucid dream, or I am lucid dreaming, and then you go to sleep. Sounds pretty simple, right? And to be honest, it is simple. That is literally all you need to do. The reason that this is not very well known is because this technique can not work if you, for example, travel very often. If you don't see the same object in your bedroom every night, if you travel or you know whatever, then you it won't really work that well because you need to see the same object every single night. You need to attach that belief to it and you need to anchor it in your mind as being the trigger for lucid dreaming. Now here's how you can use a dream sign to do this pretty much the same thing. Now lucid dream signs or just dream signs in general are objects or things that appear in your dreams regularly. They ha they often happen. And this can be anything. This can be a person, an object, a place. The only way that you would know what your dream signs are is if you regularly write them down. So for this reason, you really need to have a dream journal and I'm gonna just quickly cut to a scene where I show you the custom dream journal that I created specifically for you. So I just wanted to quickly mention my custom lucid dreaming journal that I had designed because this actually contains detailed instructions about how to use the journal. It also contains specific places for you to draw your dreams on one side and then write about them on the other side. It also it gives you the chance to write whether you were lucid, which technique you used, the date, and also a title of the dream, so that when you're flicking through at speed, you can quickly see which dreams you had. You'll also find beautiful lucid dreaming quotes about every 10 pages, just to keep you inspired and motivated as you go through this journal. And then at the back, there's also a section explaining how to lucid dream, and also various reality checks and things you can use to help you along the journey. So if you want to get this, go to howtolucid.com forward slash lucid journal, all one word. Okay, back to the video. And uh, so yeah, that's a good dream journal that you can get, but there are many other things. You know, you could just use your phone, for example. You could use your phone to just uh, do speech to text recognition, and then that could be how you write your dreams down, but you need to be writing them down. And then once you're doing that, you can start to identify recurring themes, dream signs, and uh, things that happen often. Once you can do that, you can use them to lose a dream. Here's how you do that. You look at what are the most common dream signs, the most common things that happen every single time you dream, or, or at least, fairly often during the week. And you tell yourself, when I see this thing, let's say it's a dog, when I see a dog, I will realize I'm dreaming. And that becomes your affirmation or your mantra. And if you repeat that to yourself often enough, then when you see a dog in the dream, the next time you see a dog in the dream, you will become lucid. It's a very powerful way of lucid dreaming and it's fairly reliable as well. I would say it's one of the most reliable ways of lucid dreaming. And I think there are other names for this. You know, you can have it being called things like the dream initiated lucid dream, because in a way the dream is initiating the lucid dream in that way. You are noticing a sign or a symbol, dream sign, and then that is triggering you to become lucid. So it's an interesting one to try. I do think it works very well. Uh, but I've had the best luck with doing things like uh, the mild technique, just repeating affirmations and mantras, the wake back to bed technique and the wild. The anchor-induced lucid dreaming technique, or the, I guess you could call it the AILD, 
uh, for short, is a very powerful way of lucid dreaming because it, it leverages the systems that you're already using. When you go to bed, you already look at things that are near your bed every single night. In this case, I look at the lights. You can't help but noticing them. So if you make sure that you do a reality check and remind yourself of lucid dreaming every time you see that object, it's going to have some very powerful effects on whether or not you lucid dream. I'm going to try something different in this video. We're not going to sign off with the whole, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to leave a, a challenge for you. I want you to try in your next lucid dream to find a blue door and walk through that blue door and then come back in, in you know, a few days time or whatever, whenever you're next lucid, leave a comment letting me know what happened when you walked through the blue door. I'm going to collect them and post them on Instagram uh, and I'm going to make possibly a video response as well, just sharing a few of them because I think it's a really interesting experiment. If you're wondering what to do next, I would highly suggest that you watch my other video on lucid dreaming totems. This is actually going to play into this quite nicely because a totem is something that you can bring around with you. So check the link in the description, click on the video and watch my video about lucid dreaming totems. Because uh, yeah, like I said, a totem, you can bring it around with you, you can always have it. And it's a way of using the anchor induced lucid dreaming technique when you're traveling or when you're on the go and in, in that way. If you want a lucid dreaming totem, by the way, I do actually have a very good recommendation, which I'll show you now. I just wanted to say really quickly, a powerful way of remembering to do reality checks and also just making sure they show up in your dreams is to use a totem. So this is actually a beautifully designed talisman coin that says various things on it. It says, are you awake? Are you dreaming? So if you want to get this, you can go to howtolucid.com forward slash coin and you'll be able to get this beautiful lucid talisman. Okay, back with the video. And uh, that is a very powerful lucid dreaming totem, which I, I'm sure you'll love. The coin is something I've been using for a long time. Uh, so go and check that out. And as always, comment on the video and I'll see you next time.